Yo team, it's Saturday. Okay, we've seen this workout before. So if you can go back and look at your scores, and let's try and beat that, okay? So what we have is three different sections. The movements all stay the same. We have a buy-in of calories. Then we have a five minute arm wrap of the double under and the front squat. We have a rest. We then have a buy-in on the calories again. We then have another five minutes of double unders and front squats, then a rest, and then we repeat that process again. But the calorie buy-in gets lower every time. Your five minute arm wrap stays the same. Your double unders stay the same, but your front squats, they get lower every round, but they also get heavier every round, okay? So, with your calorie buy-in, <clears throat> the way this workout works is, for example, you have 50 calories to complete, and as soon as the, the, the bike rolls over to 50 calories, your five minute window is then gonna start. So you're gonna look up to the clock, and you're gonna be like, cool, I've got five minutes now to complete as many rounds as I can of 30 double unders and 15 front squats. Once that five minute window is done, you're gonna take five minutes of rest. In that five minutes, you're gonna load that barbell um, slightly heavier, okay? Because now I've got 40 calories to do, and then once I've finished that 40th calorie, my next five minute window begins, right? And then we've got 30 double unders, 10 front squats, but this time it's slightly heavier. Once that five minutes is up, I take my five minute rest. This time I've got 30 calories to do before my five minute window starts. This time I've got 30 double unders, <clears throat> five front squats, um, but the barbell is slightly heavier again. Okay? Now, you might look at this and think, oh cool, well I'll just go real easy on the calories so I'm real fresh for my five minute window of work. Yes, but no, okay? I'm looking for you to note down your time for every um, calorie buy-in. So for example, let's say that 50 calories in round one takes you four minutes. I wanna see on your scores in the notes is round one, four minutes, and then I completed, I don't know, four rounds and 30 reps for the, for the arm wrap. That's what we're gonna see, so you can't just sandbag those calories, it's not the point. But we do have to move with a purpose, but we're also trying to, <coughs> <don't know> <coughs> you know I mean? We're also trying to um, save our legs, right? The players are just cleaning those bleats in the air. <laughs> Um, so we're trying to manage manage um, our legs, for example, so we can go into that workout um, and still push the pace for those five minutes. But again, we're balancing, we're mega mega slow to save our energy, and then we're actually trying to get a decent time for the bike. Because there will be a time gap on the overall workout, so you can't just lose on through those calories. Okay? Then when we're in the five minute um, arm match, we're double unders. We have thirty reps. We'll get, regardless if we're going doubles or single, double, single, double, or singles the whole way, um, I want you moving at a pace that you can try and manage unbroken if possible. I know it's a tough skill to learn and you might trip up by accident, but that's fine. But we're not looking to sprint these as fast as possible, okay? You're looking to go maybe like 70%. But what I want to see is you jump in nice and tall. Nice and tall every single rep, okay? That's going to ensure that rope's going to have time to get underneath you twice. Okay, so nice and tall, single skips. And then all I have to do is speed up the spin of my rope for my wrists, okay? But the same, um, I would jump into the same height every single time. Just because the rope speeds up doesn't mean my jump speeds up. It's still nice and tall, real lazy jumps, and then the tension in my wrist is what causes the, the rope to spin underneath. So that's your double under. Then we have the front squat. We're looking to hold unbroken on these. Now that's going to dictate what weight you're going to use. Maybe in the set of 15, if you want to drop it, you could once. But five minutes isn't enough time to be taking heaps of rest, step back, because the weight's too heavy, okay? The front squat, we've got that barbell in our front rack position. Elbows up as high as we can get them. We send our hips back and down, knees track the toes. The chest is nice and tall, and I'm squeezing my abs as tight as I can. On the way back up, I press through my whole foot, and I extend my knees and my hips at the same time, okay? 
So remember, it's a squat. How do we squat? We send our hips back, okay? So my heels stay nailed to the floor. Knees track over my toes, and I drive up with those elbows and squeeze my bum at the top of the rep. We sit down, we stand up with the elbows high and the heels on the floor. Now, yes, you might want to be moving fast through those reps, but that doesn't mean we compromise the positions and the sort of movement patterns. Make sure you are moving well before we move fast. There's no point in moving really, really fast if you move horrendously, because that's only going to lead to an injury. Um, it's going to lead to an injury, and it's going to lead to a worse score, because you're not moving as efficiently or as effectively as you possibly could if you were following the movement patterns that we were asking you to do. So slow yourself down a little, sort of uh, check yourself, slow yourself down, make sure you're ticking off all of those points. Are my elbows up? Are my hips going back first? Are my knees staying over my toes and my heels flat? Stand tall, squeeze the bum. Is my back sore? Well, why is my back sore? Well, my elbows are going to the floor, the muscles in my abs, now look like this, and my knees are sore because I'm shooting my knees. Yeah? Doesn't matter how fast you move, I'm looking at how well you move. Yeah? The, the faster scores, the heavier weights, all come from that solid foundation of moving well. Let's get it, guys. Have fun. Let's go.